Here are 10 tips for pixel heroes, do's and don'ts that you guys should be looking out for in the game. We're still pretty early in the game, but there's definitely a lot of mistakes you can make, so you might learn something today. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you want future content, and let me know what you guys think. Thank you. Always sweep. When you do the sweep, uh, it gives you two hours of idle rewards, and you definitely want to maximize your sweep by advancing as far in here. Always use your bounties in case you max out, right? So I'll, I'll take a free, a free draw. Um, claim your rewards. Boom, I leveled up. And you can see that you get a lot of stuff from sweeping. So always do your sweeps. That's tip number one. If you want to spend gems that are in your free to play. Tip number two, a lot of people don't know, but you can actually play multiple modes as once. So to be more efficient, you can always, um, I would recommend doing things you don't have to watch. So you can start the story, watch, you can start the story and then you can go here and can do a tower of blessings. And you can challenge that while those two are going you can also do a arena you can do a uh let's see this one right here um while those two are going i'm just gonna do this i didn't even look so three battles are going at once right um and then you can also do this dungeon trial so you can see a chapter 19 move on to the next stage my third tip actually goes to the arena i just wasted a uh battle chance just for the video so you have to like the video you know because i wasted one try for you guys just to show you don't be intimidated by the power levels because you might actually be like 800k and someone at 900k might not actually have a good enough team to beat you let's try beating i don't know like right here yeah so i just showed you guys i beat a 900 like whatever thousand player when i'm only 800k my next tip is besides the sweeps for uh, the gems I showed this guide before by Jing Wei. This is his YouTube channel, just to give him credit. Um, he has a gem guide, I'll link in the comments. When we go to the mystery shop, you can actually go up to the products on the top right, click on that, and copy his list here. So his list says that it is good to buy these things for this currency. So I have it matching, right? So every time you guys refresh a shop, right here, I don't have anything. Right here, it says require. Require is the stuff that you have in the shop. So I'm buying that. Refresh again. Uh, I don't have enough coins for that. My next tip is to actually check the two guides I have right here. One of the guides is by Jing Wei. He has team building, ascension, spirits, like the pets, pattern semblance, upcoming units, and the standard tier list. And if you want a variety, because not every tier list is the best, you want like multiple opinions, this guy, I'm giving him credit on Discord. He made eight tier list as well so you can cross check because his tier list actually has fodder units and um, legend epic hero units that he doesn't have because he only has myth heroes so um in your profile right here if you guys don't have your title already equipped for being a, an early member you get a permanent buff right here so next tip make sure when you guys are upgrading heroes that um you don't dismiss all your three stars but you actually use your three stars to upgrade four stars so you can start up your four stars here with this and then you'll make them a five star and then you can use these four star fodder at, into five stars in order to upgrade your uh, actual main hero units so don't upgrade these main units that you have using other really good units use four stars preferably that you can upgrade and use them as fodder um so make sure you guys are using your resources wisely and always check the discord if you have questions for other people they have opinions when it comes to using your gems to re-harvest, okay, um, don't do that until you max out your levels because once you get to the max level, then you get more rewards. My next tip is right here in the welcome ceremony. Do not go into the star reward and try to get to 10 hero, especially if you're free to play. This is not worth it. This is just not worth how much you have to invest into it. And of course, if you have the resources, you can. I would just stop at the 2-9 star hero to get and one last tip is that do not be spending your gems like i said on anything besides the sweeps um or anything you absolutely absolutely need and definitely do not be buying tickets with it i see some people in my comments that said they have to restart their accounts because they spent all of their diamonds on tickets so um unfortunately you can only use diamonds on the limited banner so if you used all your diamonds already you're kind of screwed that's all the tips I have for today. And if there's other tips I didn't mention that you think is super useful, throw them into the comments. I might not, I might learn something myself. Been enjoying the game a lot, super fun. But yeah, I'll, it, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Maybe you guys want a more uh, in-depth store guide. Well, there's not that much to talk about in this game. It is an idle game, so I'll do what I can. But I'll probably make videos for other gacha games too. Cause... Oh, I got 22 of these chests. Let's see what I get. <laughs>
Of course, I didn't get a single pack. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah, it's unlikely. Let's see the summon. Come on, give me something. Ugh. Ugh. Let's see what I get from this. I never get anything good from this. Yeah. Okay, let's do another 10 pull. Give me something nice. Come on, give me something nice. Epic. Ugh. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> 